it's time for us to talk a little bit of Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. This is a segment of the show we kind of call the Feeling Old segment, where we talk about all the films that this week are celebrating their 10th birthdays and their 20th birthdays. So let's start off with the movies turning 10. Turning 10 this week, we have The Legend of Zorro, Prime, Saw 2, and The Weatherman, and turning 20 years old this week, we've got the classic Vampire in <laughs> Brooklyn. We have uh, Three Wishes, Powder, and Copycat. Schnapp, <laughs> out of these films that are celebrating birthdays this week, the 10th and the 20th, which ones stand out to you? Well, just the poster alone for Copycat and Powder, I didn't realize how close and similar they are. You know, <laughs> yeah. Both creepy dudes with, with glasses reflecting stuff. The Powder one is... Uh, it's definitely a strange, a uh, strange film. You know, a lot of sh a lot of shots of a dude who's like hairless taking showers and stuff. It's like I remember uh, watching part of it and then just turning it off. I was like, I don't need to watch any more of this. You know, <laughs> I don't care what happens to Powder, or whatever this <laughs> weird like ghost goth kid. Uh, I do remember the Weatherman though. Uh, the Weatherman is a really fun film. I enjoyed has, Weatherman. Uh, yeah. Nick Cage with his uh, bow and arrow. You know, kind of hanging out, doing weird stuff. You know. So those are the ones I remember. Now, wasn't uh, Copycat, wasn't, who's the, the big jazz singer? Uh, uh, Harry Connick Jr. Was he not the villain yeah. in that? That's mm -hmm. right. I remember that. The one, I mean, Legend of Zorro, I thought. I, th I had a lot fun. of fun with yeah, that Legend fun. of Zorro as well. Uh, Saw 2, when Saw was still a pretty good franchise. A vampire in Brooklyn. Like this, but yeah, for me, the one that stands out the most to me is The Legend of Zorro. I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing, honestly, <clears throat> another Zorro film where now Antonio Banderas is in the position that Anthony Hopkins was in 20 or like mm. at, at the last Legend of, Zorro, in Legend of Zorro and now he's passing it on to John Boyega or I don't right. know or something along those lines so I don't know which of these films stand out to you Mark um I I, I saw Prime and I got excited because I thought it was Primer the time travel movie right. <laughs> came out 2004 <laughs> which uh, was awesome Vampire in Brooklyn one of my maybe my all-time comedic idol Eddie Murphy I remember that movie coming out and being excited for it and it got such a horrible critical reception that that was that was the continuation of the decline of eddie murphy as like a box office superstar now he's made like good family movies since then and you know the shrek franchise but in the 90s he was really struggling it was like that and beverly hills cop 3 they're just a lot of movies and you saw somebody who went from being like an a-list star to being like eh, he got made fun of on saturday night live for that movie and that's why he never came back until the 40th anniversary uh, also powder is a movie that didn't do that well in theaters but it's just still today in the consciousness of everybody you yeah, everybody can knows say powder, powder yeah. and they get it like i could be on stage at any comedy club in america say powder and they know i'm talking about the dude who got struck by lightning who's totally pale and has these weird powers it's kind of cool hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider